This lecture will be on lactation failure jaundice, which is more commonly known as breastfeeding jaundice. It presents with jaundice during the first week of life due to insufficient caloric and fluid intake. Breastfeeding may be inadequate due to neonatal factors, such as ineffective suck or difficulty maintaining a latch, or maternal complications, such as cracked nipples. These babies are often dehydrated. They may have dry mucous membranes, sunken fontanelles, decreased urine output, and potentially hypernatremia, that is serum sodium above 150 milliequivalents per liter. They may also have weight loss. It is a diagnosis of exclusion. Hemolysis and other pathologic causes of jaundice must be ruled out. It is important to promote breastfeeding and provide support to ensure that nursing is successful. The mother should be instructed to nurse more frequently, that is, at least 10 to 12 times for 24 hours for the first two weeks. Further consultation with a lactation specialist should be considered. As well, supplementation with formula may be necessary. However, breastfeeding should not be supplemented with glucose water solutions. Dextrose in water has not been shown to decrease the prevalence or degree of hyperbilirubinemia. Furthermore, it may result in iatrogenic hyponatremia. Spontaneous resolution usually occurs by the third week of life. Specific treatment, such as phototherapy, is usually not required.